Hello and welcome to this mod first look video. Today we're going to be looking at two mods. We're going to be looking at the Horse Joker 4 CT and the Horse Tirano 3FX, both by Despo93. So let's jump in, let's go. So for both of these mods, we are under soil cultivation. Our first one is going to be a Discaro, and it is the Horse Joker 4 CT. As you can see, 25,000. It requires 140 horsepower, has a 4 meter working width, uh, it has a 11 miles per hour working speed, which I believe is probably around about 19 kph, and has a 2 metric ton in weight. So a quick look at it in store, it's hard to see, the, uh, the, the camera seems a little bit off on this one, so as we zoom in, we don't want to get to see the tool unfortunately. But it looks nice from here and uh, we'll get one down on the farm and we'll have a little closer look at it in a bit but first we'll check out the Toronto 3fx and that is under cultivators so go down to the bottom you can see that is 15,000 that also has a required hp of 140 the three meter working width has a nine mile per hour working speed which is, i think is probably about 12 kph and a 1.9 metric ton in weight. And again, we can't really get right in on this one in the store. If we zoom in, it sort of comes in underneath us. But it looks nice. So let's get the pair of them down onto the farm. And uh, we'll have a little look at them. So down on the farm, we've had our goods delivered. First up, we have the Joker, the 4CT. You see, horse Joker 4CT. Now, many of you who have played FS before will recognize this probably from 1922 uh, lovely lovely disc arrow I quite like the horse brand always quite a fan of getting out on my farm this looks really nice looks really well made a uh, nice conversion I think desperate Despo 93 either <laughs> works for Giants or is proper hot on getting these mods in before Giants bring them in themselves because he is working his butt off getting these out and I'm sure Giants are happy with that as well. And as a player, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not going to grumble at it. It's good to start getting the tools in. But that looks great. Nice detail on there. You've got little cover caps on the uh, air hoses, on the hydraulics. Really nice. Really cool. Yeah, I like that one. So then next up is the uh, Tirana 3FX. And this is the Cultivator 3 meters. A little bit bit deeper in the soil with this one and again it looks really nice another one that some of you may be familiar with now we're seeing the springs on this and on here i want to see if we uh, see some spring in, in motion because we've had some really cool mods that we've seen lately with different functionality and different movements and yeah it's it's, it's been good to see so uh let's get them in action and uh, let's see what they're like And again, first up, we'll have a look at the Horsch 4CT. Uh, this one being a 4 meter working width, being a modern 4 meter working width at that, it does fold up so it is uh, nice and easy to get down on the lanes and the roads and not obstructing traffic. You can see up close now, looking really nice underneath there, lots of detail. I like when we can see where all the joints are, where we can see the, the screws and the bolts and the nuts and where everything is looks really nice so we'll jump in with this one first so if we give it an unfold now i don't see any extra working modes on there so i'm going to take it as it is lower it Just double checking on the controls and there you can see we are disc harrowing we are disking so you close see the, the details of it now as it turns so it's all discs there's no uh, no chisels on this one really really nice looking like so we've got the uh, the discs at the front then it's 
I was wondering what the uh, the more spaced out disc was, but it just seems to be for pushing soil back in, maybe, making sure it's all gone back in place. But yeah, that's looking really nice. I'm only going at two miles an hour. It does go as advertised, 11 miles an hour, which is plenty. Looking really nice. But yeah, cultivator. Not cultivator, but disc harrow. A tool that I am familiar with and that I do like to use. So next up is the Horsch Toronto 3FX. And again, we'll have a little look around it while it's lifted. And obviously the difference with the uh, the cultivator is it does have the discs, it does have the rollers, but it has the small chisels at the front to lift the soil, bring it back down, and uh, yeah, give you a nice nice bed to work with. But again, it looks really nice. I'm hoping to see a little bit of movement in them springs. I really am. If we don't get it, we don't get it. I mean, it depends on what change has been brought in in the version, I guess. But there's, there's hopeful wish in here. But we'll do, we'll uh, line ourselves up next to our disced terrain. And you can see the difference in terrain as well. Different textures. So straight in with the cultivator. We've got the, uh, the shanks in. The chisel part. Well, we are see we're seeing movement on the springs. A little bit of dust, but I like that. I like that we can see they're individually sprung. They are moving. I like that. That's good. Not sticking very straight to that not straight line, am I? But yeah, really nice doing its job. And again, this goes nine miles per hour. Gets the job done. I think that's a nice pair of. Uh, cultivator and uh, disc harrow there so you have the choice you know depending on what's what you're doing on your farm how you're looking after your soil you know the size of of the fields i guess as well with it being a three and a four both requiring 140 horsepower though the smaller tool requires a little bit more because it does work a deeper area of the soil whereas the disc just goes along the top just in just in on the top but yeah they are absolutely great so that was the Horse Joker 4CT and the Horse Toronto 3FX by Despo93. Two great mods here. No doubt I will definitely be working these into my gameplay and my Let's Plays because Horse just seem to be a, a, a tool brand that I tend to go to. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.